apologies for the mess. We've been doing a cake decorating competition this afternoon. And I need to introduce myself. I'm Andrew Barnes. I am the founder of Perpetual Guardian and the architect of the global four day week movement. And one of the great advantages of the four day week movement is you actually have lots of time to do this sort of stuff, quality time with your family and with your friends. Now, we started the four day week movement back in 2018 when we introduced it in my company, Perpetual Guardian. And we went permanent with that in November of the year. Now, actually, when you had you know, looked back then and, and we try and think how many people had heard of either Perpetual Guardian or indeed the four day week, we were these crazy Kiwis at the bottom of the world who were trying something unusual. And we got quite a bit of media coverage. But if you fast forward three years and you do the same search now, you will very rapidly get over 6 billion hits on the four day week in the matter of a few seconds. Now, why? Well, clearly it's because people all around the world, generally about 80% of us when asked, say that we want a four day week. But it's also because of COVID-19. What COVID-19 did is it changed the paradigm of work. How many chief executives would have said they would have been able to run their company from their kitchen table pre the pandemic? And then we found that, hey, we could. And that not only could we do that, but we could do that with great productivity. And we could, another crazy concept, that we could actually trust our staff to maintain productivity levels and service levels. And so COVID has really made the difference. And as a consequence, now all over the world, you are seeing not just political movements, but company driven movements to introduce the four day week. And so what I'm going to talk to you about is that movement, how it's evolved, where we've got to and why I think that the four day week is an idea whose time has come. Thank you.